Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video we're actually sitting in my living room. I've got my center table which I've actually put a towel on it um, and I decided that I was going to do something that I've never done before. So I decided I'm going to do my first ever mukbang video with you guys and uh, yeah. So my mukbang haul is from Domino's. Yeah, the bag is taking most of the screen right now. So I've got a lot of things in here. Let's just uh, quickly get into it and let's start digging in. So I got, I actually got two Pepsis, but I already started drinking one. So I'll finish that one. Pepsi, because I like it. I got a chocolate lava cake. And this one, I'm actually going to leave it for my son because I know he likes chocolate lava. So I'm going to leave that for him. I'm not going to include that in my mukbang today. But we've got meatballs, sriracha meatballs. That looks good. That looks yummy. Got about five pieces in that. I don't know whether you can see. Hold on. Just trying to get. Okay, I'm going to keep that here. Then I've got dessert. I've got a butterscotch mousse cake, which I really like. So I'm going to have that there. Which I'm going to have last. And then I got three different pizzas. Oh, I also got a garlic bread, so I'm just going to take out the three pizza boxes first. Oh, God, okay. Somewhere, something is stuck. Garlic bread steaks. Okay. I also have another Pepsi if I wanted to get a little extra drink. Oh, and these are crinkle fries, so I'm just going to... Open this and show. Crinkle fries, which looks interesting. Stuffed garlic bread, which I'm gonna keep here. Also have my trusty wipe. Oh God, it's hot. Already, just from unpacking. So I've got a cheese, which is nothing else but cheddar and uh, mozzarella. So I'm gonna have that here. All right, so I'm going to put that here. Oh, then I have a paneer and onion. If you can see, it's a paneer and onion. I keep that here. Can I lift a lot of these things? Just a second. And I also have a... Peppered barbecue chicken? Yeah, that's, what is that? So, just gonna lay them out here so that you guys can see. Oh, shoot. I'm actually gonna transfer this into that, so. I have less of boxes. Because there are too many boxes, I'm just going to empty the crinkle fries into the sriracha sauce anyway because I like some things. So I'm just getting all the boxes out of the way. If you guys can see, because I'm trying, I'm going to keep the Pepsi, I think, this side. Yeah, let's put the Pepsi there. Got one Pepsi here. And I can move my crinkle fries a little bit this side so I have space for the garlic bread. So moving that here. So I think we are set to go. Let's... um. Let's first dig into the garlic bread. I like digging into the center of the garlic bread. So you have all this cheese, which is really nice. It's got um, jalapenos and corn and of course cheese. It's like yum. Oh, it looks good. Hmm. <laughs> Super soft. Nice and warm. Very good. I like it. Alpino that fell from there. I'm gonna try the crinkle fries. I'm gonna try the crinkle fries. So it has lost some of its crunch because obviously, you know, by the time you're getting it, fries it always happens that way. Unless you have it open, taking some more crinkle fries because it's good. I'm actually gonna take it with some of that sriracha sauce. 
Mm. Mm. Spicy. Not a huge fan of spice, so rubbing some of the spice. I'm gonna take the meatball, so rubbing some of that spice off from the meatball. Meatball. Hmm. No wonder people like the meatball, it's really nice. It's quite soft. I like it a lot. Taking another meatball. It's really good. Mm, let's try the cheese pizza. So this is the cheese pizza. I'm just gonna take a slice of it. It's really cheesy and really gooey and really nice. So the description was orange cheddar and mozzarella so you can see the orange out there. It's good. The orange cheddar. Next I'm going to try the paneer. Let's have a slice of that. Oh boy. Well, this looks good. I like the paneer with the onion. And again, this is sorry guys. I was sweating quite badly and I had to put on my fan. If you hear the fan sound, don't mind it. Right, so I also wanted to say that this haul actually cost me 864 rupees. Now, if you were going to minus the, um, the lava cake, which I'm not featuring, on this, uh, it would be approximately 900 and, sorry, it would be approximately 764 uh, rupees. So that's my deal, if you can see. Okay, right. So, so now it's time to have the butterscotch mousse cake. This is my favorite. Thing, uh, actually at all in Domino's uh, the best I mean because I've never found this in any other place like it's not replaceable to me so just taking I mean look at this guys that looks so delicious oh yeah hmm hmm Honestly, it's very easy to finish this off. This is the easiest thing. <coughs> this is the easiest thing to finish off. And it's really, really good. So, it'll go into the trash now. It's so cute. And it's about 80 grams of product. So wiping. I'm like sweating a lot. Right. So what shall we finish next? I think we're going to finish off these two so I can dump this inside and then go into that. So yeah. Going to have some more of the garlic bread. Let's finish that off. Um, the only thing that I love about this is the most the bread almost feels like pillows like it's pillow soft that's just amazing hmm There's not much, there's not much in the crust end, so I don't feel like eating it, honestly. There's no, like, much of flavor. But you can taste maybe a hint of some sort of butter, or right. something.
I'm just realizing now. My nose is late. I should have actually got some dips to go along with this bread. Like they have this nice cheese jalapeno dip, which would have gone really well with this. I should have bought it. I didn't think of it then. This is so good. Boom. I'm actually going to have the paneer. So these two slices of the cheese, I'm actually going to leave it for my son. Um, let him have it. But I'll finish the others. You know, sometimes sometimes the way that one eats food is actually like dancing because your mouth is dancing like you know <clears throat> so sometimes when I'm eating and I'm listening to the sound of my chewing in my head and I think of a beat and like like you know like that and that goes on in my head a lot of times yeah I'm wondering what's <laughs> in the voices in my head. <laughs> mm. I would say I like the cheese better than the paneer. Maybe because in the paneer, unless you get the paneer, you're not getting any taste. I think. Rather than combining the paneer with the onions, I think they should have probably combined paneer with the capsicum. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But of course, capsicum is a much more expensive vegetable than um, onion. So yeah. I've got cheese stuck in my feet right now. <laughs> or maybe some bread as well. I can feel that. Hmm. As time goes, the, the crust definitely hardens. So, yeah. Oh god, there's food like literally stuck in my feet. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, this like Pepsi makes it really gassy. So I'm just going to keep the cheese piece outside with the lava cake for my kid. Oof. That was a good meal. That was a good meal. I still have one paneer <coughs> and one uh, pepper chicken left. You're interested in sharing it with me? But overall, yeah, it was really, really good. And um, I would definitely be having it again. Went Pepsi down. Did 
think I'm going to wrap this up for now. Well, I had so much fun doing my first mukbang video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you know, and I hope I did justice to what you guys are used to seeing. Um, don't forget to let me know in the comments below. And I would definitely like to hear any other feedback that you guys would like to share. Definitely don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And definitely hit the bell button to stay notified for most of my upcoming videos. And until the next time, I will hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.